Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Teacher John and today we're going to talk about something new. Now remember last time we talked about verbs. Do you remember verbs? Verbs are something you can do, like dance, run, eat. But today we're going to talk about nouns. And we say nouns. And the best way to think about nouns is that it's you can touch. You can touch nouns. Okay? Anything that you can touch is a noun. And we have three big nouns now. Our first one is people. People are nouns. Like I could say, Teacher John. Can you touch Teacher John? Yes. So I am a noun. We could say, Teacher Sophia. Can you touch Teacher Sophia? Yes. She is a noun. Also, I could say the kids. If there are two kids running, I could say those are nouns. They are nouns. Okay? So the first one is people or person. Number two is place. Places are right here. P-L-A-C-E-S. Places. Places are where you can go to. You can go. Like I could say, Joy School is a place. Can I touch Joy School? Yeah. It's a noun. Joy School is a noun. You could say Taipei is a noun. Go to Taipei. You can say Taiwan is a noun. And Teacher John's house from the USA, you could say the USA is a noun. Those are places that you can go and you can touch. The bathroom is a noun. The kitchen is a noun. All these places are places you can go. So they are nouns. Number three are Things. We can say things. Things are not people and are not places, but everywhere around us. Like I could say, Teacher John's marker is a thing. Can I touch the marker? Yeah. So the marker is a noun. I have a clock. Can I touch the clock? Yep. So the clock is a noun. We also have an eraser. Can I touch the eraser? Yes, so the eraser is a noun. Also we have cat and bananas, apples, oranges, dogs, fish, birds. These are all nouns. Everything you can touch is a noun. So we have our three groups today. We have people, places, and things. And these are all of our nouns. Now what also is a noun is our book today. Our book today is Sharing Time Troubles. And you can see here it's by Grace Macaron. And in this book, we're going to be reading about different nouns. And I wonder if you can find some more nouns inside this book. Just like last time, I want you to read with me, and then I want you to write down, sorry, look and write down all of the nouns that you can see in this book. Now this book is a little easy, so this time I'll be giving 500 cards to the person with the most nouns in the book, okay? So let's begin to read our story, Sharing Time Troubles. Sharing Time Troubles by Grace Macaron. It's Monday. It is sharing time. Dan brings his pet, a frog named Slime. It's Tuesday. It is time to share. Pam brings her special teddy bear. On Wednesday, Max brings Mexican money. Kim brings gold. Jan brings a bunny. On Thursday, Sam has nothing to share. No pet, no gold, no money, no bear. At home, Sam looks at all his stuff, but none of it is good enough. Books, blocks, balls, and a ba baseball bat. Cards and caps, a cowboy hat. Sam's little brother wants to play, but Sam has sharing time troubles today. Sam says, go away. 
Then Sam says, stay. It's Friday and Sam has something to show. Can you guess what it is? Sam asks. Do you know? What's as sloppy as a frog? As hoppy as a bunny? As cute as a teddy bear? And better than gold money? Hmm. Jan makes a guess. Dan makes another. I know, says Kim. It's Sam's little brother! The end. So, there we have it. Sharing time travels. You can see the boy here, Sam, wanted to share all of the new things that he has, but he doesn't know which one to bring. He doesn't think he has anything good to show his friends. But he decides to show his little brother. Now, in the book, remember, we have all these different nouns in there. So remember, when you're writing and looking, we're looking for something you can touch. Like the book is a thing. We can say, your house or joy school is a place. And teacher John, mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, they are people. You can touch, they are all nouns, okay? So remember, find the nouns, write them down, send it to us, and you could win 500 cards. Okay, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.